It's the Mars of Doom, aka Nazo, your one and only Doombringer of Doom and Goodness, being evilly good as always, with Sonic the Hedgehog 3, aka Sonic 3, and I'll just uh, stop that so it doesn't spoil the game for people who have never seen Sonic 3. But yeah, let's get started! You'll notice a big difference between this game and the first game, is that there are save files, six of them. And you can delete your save files if you feel like it. And yeah, you can actually pick to play as Sonic and Tails. Uh, you play as Sonic, the computer plays as Tails. You can either play as Tails or just Tails, just Sonic. Something they added for this. We're gonna do the traditional thing. Gonna keep the hilarity and Miss Jinx hijinks with Sonic and Tails. There some few differences between this game and the last game. Obviously, sprite differences in the controls and feels and new gimmicks, you'll see. They aren't... you don't get super peel out like you do in Sonic CD, but... yeah. Anyway, so let's just get started with the game. Enough of talking, more play -y. There goes Super Sonic! Where are we going? Wow, oh, look at that beach. Looks awesome. Ah, oh, what the fuck? I got... You bag! That bitch! Who are you? He stole my emeralds! He stole my emeralds! Bitch! Alright, let's get this game started. The ABC buttons, if you're following off the Genesis controller, actually do jumps. You also get like this uh, air attack, which lets you swipe in the air or something. Springs will allow you to jump to higher locations. And computer monitors give you items. I got some rings off that. Rings, not only good for your score, they also protect you from a hit. They have you know, if you have no rings, when you have any, if you have no rings to take a hit, you lose a life. Be careful. And uh, spikes are very bad. But, and uh, I could not do that. But I did not want to get that intentionally because over here is the first warp ring to the special stage. I'll explain the special stage for a second. In the first two games, you had to get 50 rings in order to activate the special stage. In order to enter the special stage, Bear said. In the first game, there were giant rings like these at the end of the level, and you needed at least 50 rings to be able to activate it and be able to enter to get the a Chaos Emerald at the end of the stage. In the second game, you needed 50 rings to open a Star Ring portal to the Special Stage. In this game, special st the access to the Special Stages are via these giant golden rings that are scattered around in various locations in the level. But anyways, let's get started! Oh man, look at this. Graphics, man, back in the day. This was awesome. Anyway, the object of this special stage is to collect blue balls for some reason. Don't ask why. So you can get a Chaos Emerald. Those little star, red star ball things are bumpers. Don't touch them, they will reverse your controls, which can be pretty bad. And the red balls, if you touch them, you get booted out of the special stage. No chaos at all. Oh, oh god, that was close. I didn't want to get booted out of the special stage so quickly. The longer you stay in the special stage, the progressively faster you get. Which can be pretty bad if you're not used to the speed. Okay. Oh yeah. If you collect 50 rings in a special stage, you get a free continue. And I got a perfect. And that's all the blue balls, and we earned ourselves a bona fide emerald chaos emerald. That's our total. Score goes up. Perfects gets you a lot of points. A lot of points. Enough for a free life. And to continue. 
basically continues. Obviously, if you lose all of your life, it's game over. But if you have a continue, you can restart with a certain set amount of lives. I believe it's just three. Whoa! Whee! Those computer monitors are invincibility stars. They make you temporarily invincible. Checkpoint. Alright. Ah, oh, that was a free life. I want that free life. You're gonna need all the lives you can get, depending on your skill level. And it's always good to have insurance. Health insurance, of course. Alright. Woo! Oh, we're already at the end of the level. Holy shit! Armageddon! Island. And I believe there should be somewhere close by. Hey. Whoa! Whoa! There should be a bunch of my exit. A gold. A giant ring somewhere here. Oh, yes, and we got one of my favorite power ups of the game. The shields in this game act very differently than its predecessors. That and they give you special abilities. Like this one. Gives you one of my favorite abilities, the double jump. There are three sets of shields. That's the fire shield. It gives you a fire shield, which you can protects you from lava. The electric shield not only gives you a double jump. Shoots up sparks of electricity. And then there's one last shield that protects you from water. Better said, from drowning. And at the end of the level, you get a mini boss, which they never did in the original. And there we go. Oh! Ah, I couldn't make it go in the air. If you keep that goal post in the air, you get extra points, and if you're lucky, you get items. Well, there we go. Act 1 is complete. Now we go to Angel Island Zone, so Act 2. Where are you going, Tails? And look! Another goal! A uh, giant golden ring. Okay, Tails. Let's go. Get the blue spheres! I shall try my best, game. Obviously, each special stage gets progressively harder. But of course, we're not gonna just hand you emeralds. So yeah, do this technique. Do a loop around these blue orbs. And you're guaranteed to change them into rings, unless they're too small to change into rings. Sometimes the game can be really evil to you, and it'll make the game speed up so fast that it gets really hard to control. Holy shit! I thought I was gonna change. Oh, I goofed. Okay, honestly, it's been a while since I played Sonic 3, to be honest. So it's gonna take some getting used to to the laws and physics of this game. And unfortunately, if you hit water when you have a fire or electric shield, you pretty much lose that shield. But, here's the third shield. Well, we haven't gotten to show off the uh, fire shield yet, but here's the water shield. Perfect for aquatic traveling. It also gives you a bounce jump. Yeah. 
perfect for staying underwater. You can also kind of bounce and you get some higher. Oh, oh, technically I didn't want to go that way, I wanted to go up. Like in all Sonic games, you lose a lot of momentum when you're underwater. So yeah, it's advice to stay as much as you can above land, or the higher roots. The higher roots will always take you somewhere faster and better. And of course, I don't have enough momentum to go that way. Checkpoint! Ow, you piece of crap! Well, Sonic games are usually about speed and getting us through levels as fast as you can. I'm going to try to be careful. A bit slow, but I'm doing it so I can just remember where all those golden warp rings are. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't need a lot of speed for that, but my doom senses tell me there's something up here. Or I just wasted time. Oh crap! Oh, don't disappear. Thank goodness. Yeah, that guy, you don't want to hit head on, you'll take damage. Usually going higher roots is good. That's why. If anything you look suspicious, you know the rule. If anything looks suspicious, it's always a clue. Monkey man! Right. Well, the hell are you going faster than me, Tails? I'm motherfucking Sonic. Um. Why is Bowser's doom ship here? Just wondering. And Tails is getting his ass beaten by a whole bunch of nukes. Good job, Tails. Way to take one for the team. Obviously, it's not Bowser, it's Eggman! Whoa. Eggman! Eggman is the man with the- Holy shit, Tails! Good job! I'll give you props for that. Damn! <laughs> Never has that happened to me before. That was awesome. Alright, I'll take it. Sonic got to act 2 in the most awesome way ever. Holy shit, Tails, you are awesome. Alright. What the? It's you again! Person. Holy shit! And welcome to Hydrocity Zone! Whoa! Oh. I I'll, I'll keep that. That was not only embarrassing, but pretty effed up. Alright. Welcome to the obligatory water world of the game. I'll probably just do one act and I'll call it a video. Eat all those delicious golden onion rings. Mmm, so delicious! They're so good, they don't need ranch. I don't really like ranch that much. Only in very small dosages. Ah! Water! The invincibility does not save you from drowning. If you stay underwater too long, you will drown. But if you have the water shield, you can stay underwater as long as you want. And also those are like lifts for some reason. And yeah. Counter comes down, you start to drown. Don't let it go to zero! Because you will die. You'll find underwater pockets of air, which you can use to. Whoa, 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 this guy. I don't like this guy. 
<sighs> You'll find pockets of air so you don't drown. And don't worry if Tails drowns. We'll just- Oh, damn it! Oh, God, I really hate those fish. A lot. They poop on my Cheerios! Ow, ow, okay, I'm in a lot of hurt. And there's no secret there. Thank you, I needed that air. Even though it's the obligatory water, well, Hydrocity Zone is pretty cool in its own way. And uh, how the hell am I gonna get back up? Whoa. Okay, we don't get to go back up, we stay underwater. Of course. Air bubble, please. I like to progress with an air bubble in my tank. Good. Stupid piranha like a fish. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, what the hell? Ray pan much. Okay. Air, please, I don't want to drown. Please, 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 oh god, help me. Whew. Whoa! Ow, forgot about those guys. Oh, hey. Take a few of those delicious golden onion rings. Yeah. Oh, I remember this boss. Ow! Ring! Ring! I'm fucked! I got Jew bagged really badly. Alright. Take two without the stupidity. One ring! Thank you. Ah. I am stuck! Wow, oh, it was relatively weak. Alright! There we go, that's what you're supposed to do with the goalpost. Yep, alright. You get a whole bunch of extra points this way. And if you get close enough to the ground, sometimes items will pop out. Yeah! The deck takes care of Act 1 of Hydrocity Zone. Tune in next time, folks, for when we... Alright, there we go. When, when, bleh. Tune in next time for when we'll take on the rest of Hydrocity Zone. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.